With such a renowned silhouette behind it and the Atlantic in front, this property had so much to look at if you built up from the original single-story house, which was partly Gavin Wiener's intention. The rest of his vision was a blend of pared-down design with the exotic atmosphere he'd experienced from the islands of the Indian Ocean to Mexico. There's a real chic feel about this house. Why did you go with a minimalistic look? You don't need to have too much stuff. And uh, if, as long as you've got nice pieces and you've got real stuff in your house, it just gives a better effect, in my opinion. And I wanted nature. For me, that was so important. Isn't that what we really want to be in when we're at peace? To be in nature. And I really, really think it came out beautifully. You've used the light timber on the floor, but why did you choose to include it on the walls as well? We included it on the walls because, you know, it's like water, it flows. So when you get timber and it flows up into the walls, okay, it's like water flowing. And it just gives it an extra dimension. So everything flows together. And again, it's, it's part of the peace, nature, feeling. That fireplace looks perfect for winter. It's an amazing fireplace, that fireplace. I mean, it's a, it's a wooden fireplace. It's uh, one of the first of its kind in South Africa. And uh, it gives off amazing heat. We get a bit of the Scandinavian feel. That's part of the paradise here, is that you can have winter paradise too. When he declares himself a minimalist, Gavin means it. He has a few sentimental pieces around the house, but is moved by the mood of each room and the overall sense of freedom and space. I noticed some eye-catching artwork. Can you tell me more about it? You know, this, this one over here, this is Jimmy Law, and uh, I was looking through some magazines and I saw this amazing stuff that he does. So I contacted him directly and I commissioned this big piece. It's probably the biggest one he's made. And uh, I just love it. The, the colors are beautiful. The, the sculpture behind you, the mask, uh, that's an Anton Smith. Again, colors, fantastic. Just the whole story with the wood, it just goes beautifully. And of course, the one over there, that's a photograph, actually, of the desert. It's done by a guy called Philippe Marinig. And these are just photographs. And you, it's, it's incredible as to how a photograph can come out as a piece of art. I mean, I think, again, you didn't have to have a lot of pieces in here, but quality. The coloring just goes with the naturalness of the house. When they opened up the ground floor to achieve more living area, to make this a viable family home meant building bedrooms upstairs. Here, Gavin's shown himself unafraid to change theme. Oh, this is nice, Gav. This place definitely screams out luxury, man. Can you tell me a bit more about the space? Well, I call it modern little Italy, uh, where everything you see, basically, the side tables, the desk, I mean, even the cushions at the back here, Massoni, are from Italy. And uh, so you've got a little bit of Italia with an ocean view. So uh, we really, really love it. It's fantastic. If the master bedroom has signatures of Milan and continental design, then the bathroom blends Mediterranean blues with another tribute to Scandinavian living. <laughs> oh, Gavin, I don't think I've ever seen a sauna in a master bathroom. Why did you go with this option? You know, it's a funny thing. When you have a sauna, it relaxes you so much. You get to look at the mountain over here, and straight afterwards, you just get straight into bed, and you have the best sleep you've ever had. So why have it in a separate room? Oh, that's awesome. And I see you've also incorporated a very interesting mosaic feature. Yeah, this is amazing stuff. I actually saw it in my sister-in-law's uh, house in, in Holland. They've got an indoor swimming pool. So they created a spa environment, and these are called Trend. So they've got a glow, a mother of pearl kind of glow, okay, also from Italy. And they're really special. I mean, you can see, it gives you that spa feeling, which is what I was after. Once finished, that was more than enough reimagining until it occurred to Gavin that if going up by a story was this rewarding, why not go up by two? With the benefit of a neat, sleek lift, we reached the result of his decision to keep going up. A standalone two-bedroom apartment with a gym, plunge pool, and views in every direction. Why did you decide to keep the penthouse completely separate to the rest of the home? You know, I wanted to create uh, alternative accommodation possibly for guests, okay, people coming to look at this beautiful view 
I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal, you know, to appreciate uh, our beautiful shores and here we have it. Why did you include a pool on this level? Well, that's quite a funny story. This used to be a, a pool top terrace. It was an independent pool on the roof. And I don't know if you've seen the movie, iconic Peter Sellers in the party, where they had a house with a pool right in the middle of it. And I just thought, well, why not? Let's build around the pool. And so that's what we got. We got the party here. And uh, I think it's fantastic. Laid out to maximize the wraparound vistas, whether cooking a three-course meal, taking a plunge, or waking up to your morning espresso, you're surrounded by splendor. <laughs> this is gold. Wow. It must be an absolute dream waking up here in the morning, yeah? This is the petas in the sky. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and just, I mean, this is really the resort feel that I wanted to create from the beginning. Except it's 10 meters up, but it's absolutely fantastic. This for me is, gives me such pleasure, you know. I agree really with fantastic. you, man. This is incredible. A job well done, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh. Another masterstroke is the garden. The area's gusty winds and cold, wet winters make challenging conditions for subtropical plants. But landscaper Eric Cherry wasn't daunted. Eric, your garden is amazing. It makes me feel like I'm in a tropical island. Well, Raul, that was the brief uh, from the client here from Gavin. He said, imagine that you're walking out of a accommodation in Mauritius. I want a tropical garden on the Atlantic Ocean. So that was the challenge. Talk me through the plants and features you use to create that feel. Well, the first thing was to get some sort of instant appeal, to get these sort of large palms in that are on the site here. Uh, you can imagine the access was a huge challenge. The site as well had to be excavated. It's on a slope, it's full of rocks. So these levels are being dug out by hand. There's two things that you really need to do if you're gonna have this kind of garden. Do good soil preparation and then have a good irrigation system. If you're wondering if there's a return on such an investment, Eric's seen how doing it well can increase the value of a property by up to 20%. The garden really complements the architecture of the home. How did you maintain that balance? Well, the important thing is that the garden does do that. It's, it's an extension of the living space. Today's modern architecture allows uh, the gardens are very much part of the architecture. The houses open up and the garden then becomes part of the living space and it's got to complement the interior. The landscaping has made the most of architect Mark Zickerman's renovation. Mark, it seems like you built this house with a less is more approach. I really believe in flow, flow outwards. And so what we try to do is come up with a, a very stylized form. The actual house was designed in two stages. So there was the ground and first floor. And then we came back later, Gavin approached me and said, hi, I want to build another floor on. <laughs> so the engineer had a heart attack, figuratively, because again, being on an existing structure, uh, there was only so much the foundations and things could take. So the top floor had to be added very carefully using lightweight structure. And yeah, I think uh, what we've come up with looks great. How did you use the existing structure that was already here to your advantage? We took the existing structure and we needed to open it out. It was a series of little rooms and to make that work with modern lifestyle and flow, we had to open that all out and, and try get that to work towards where the natural views are. So if you look at the house, north is up that direction and so that was a natural place for the pool to go and for the lounge and dining room to all flow out into that. And from that kind of really structures the rest of the house. The owner's advice for those about to renovate is to establish good relationships with your contractors. From there, all becomes possible. Well, gentlemen, you've successfully brought the tropics to South Africa, so congratulations on an incredible build and also a garden to match. Well done, guys. Once you've turned your vision into a result like this, it's in your blood. We're sure this project won't be Gavin's last.